Attack on Titan, 8 Best Porco Quotes Porco was one of the inheritors of the Jaw Titan introduced in the latter part of Attack on Titan, and he had a handful of memorable quotes. One of the best things about Attack on Titan is how great the characters are. Many of them were introduced in the Marley arc, including Porco Galliard, one of the inheritors of the Jaw Titan. Though he was only in the series for two arcs, fans learned a lot about him. He was the last warrior candidate to inherit a titan, with his own brother, Marcel, being chosen before him. However, he proved to Marley that he was strong enough to become Marcel's successor and did everything that he could to be the strongest of the warriors. Like other great Attack on Titan characters, he has some significant quotes from both the manga and the anime. 8. Our comrades were chanting your name all night. After defeating the Mideast Allied forces, the warrior unit returned to their homes in Liberio. On their way back, the Marlian army cheered for Gabi, who played a great role in the war. One of the soldiers who cheered her on the most was Colt, who had gotten drunk. The following morning, Porco took care of Colt and let Gabi know that he was proud of her as well. 7. Look how they celebrate that one win. Dumb kids. Ignorance really is bliss. At the beginning of the Marley arc, everyone thought that Gabby would inherit the armored titan. Especially after she helped defeat the Mideast allied forces. However, in order to protect her and let her live a long life, Falco worked hard to prove that he could be just as worthy to become the armored titan and beat her at a race. As he did, Porco watched the two of them along with his comrades and said these words. 6. It makes no sense. You're obviously at the bottom of the group, so why would they pick you? Porco always assumed that he would easily inherit one of the nine titans as a child and was shocked to find out that out of him and the six other warrior candidates, he'd be the only one who wouldn't become one. However, Marcel went behind his back and made Porco seem like the worst choice, resulting in Reiner being chosen instead. Not knowing the role his brother played in this, Porco was infuriated with Reiner and it would take years before he understood why he didn't get what he always wanted. 5. You didn't do anything. You're obviously the weakest in the group. If one person's getting left behind, it's going to be you. Full quote, you didn't do anything. You're obviously the weakest in the group. If one person's getting left behind, it's going to be you. What are you good at? Are you strong? Smart? A good shot? A good fighter? You're none of those, are you? What they saw in you was the loyalty to Marley you displayed in the written tests. Wasn't it? When Porco was a child, he trained alongside Reiner, Annie, Zeke, Bertholdt, Peek, and Marcel to become a warrior. Reiner was excited to inherit one of the nine titans and attack the Eldians in parody. But Porco didn't believe that he had what it would take and told him this. This led to the two of them fighting and having a rivalry for as long as they knew each other, especially since Porco was the one that got left behind. 4. The Tiber family has never done their duty to protect our country, even though they held the Warhammer Titan all this time. Full quote, the Tiber family has never done their duty to protect our country. Even though they held the Warhammer Titan all this time. They've lived carefree lives in big mansions on big estates while other Eldians were forced into internment. Isn't it a little too selfish for them to show up now and start acting like heroes? Fearing that modern weapons would become more powerful than the Titans. Zeke brought the other warriors together to discuss what they could do in order for the world to realize that Eldians were still important. He told them that the Tiber family, who had inherited the Warhammer Titan for generations and was beloved by people all around despite being Eldians, would help them. Porco didn't think it was fair and made his feelings clear. But the Tibers ended up helping anyway. 
3. I just saved my motherland of Marley from losing the armor as a result of you screwing up. Full quote, I just saved my motherland of Marley from losing the armor as a result of you screwing up. And anyway, none of this would have happened if they chose me for the parody operation nine years ago and let me inherit the armor. My brother never would have protected you before getting himself eaten by a random titan. During the battle between the Mideast Allied forces, Reiner was almost killed. The only reason why he wasn't was that Porco came to his rescue. When he woke up, Porco said this to him. Letting him know that even after all these years, he still didn't see Reiner as his friend and blamed him for Marcel's death. 2. What the hell? Can't you see I'm a titan? Are a bunch of humans really about to come and kill me? No. They're not humans. They're devils. When the Survey Corps invaded Marley, Yelena trapped Peek and Porco so they couldn't fight against them. Luckily, they were able to escape and Porco entered the battle. Because this was the first time he ever faced any of them. He was shocked to discover that they weren't afraid of him and fought back. He nearly died to them and learned how powerful they were. 1. I used up all my power to heal my body. But I'm not going down for nothing. I saw Marcel's memories. He tricked the army into making a loser like you into a warrior. Full quote, I used up all my power to heal my body. But I I am not going down for nothing. I saw Marcel's memories. He tricked the army into making a loser like you into a warrior. All to protect me. Now you have to admit it. That to the end I've always been better than you. In the manga, when the Marleyan army attacked Parody, Porco and Reiner fought against Aaron. During the battle, Porco was finally able to remember Marcel's memory of when he told Reiner that he had sabotaged Porco in order to protect him. Knowing this, Porco was happy that he was right all along and should have inherited a titan before Reiner did. However, his happiness didn't last long as Falco, who had just transformed into a titan, ate him, becoming the next jaw titan.